That, my friends, is my office chair that I've had for a pretty good while. One of the coaster wheel things is coming off. Uh, you can definitely see where there's definitely some age on this thing. The biggest problem I've had with this chair is that it's the arms are stationary and you can't really take them off because they're attached to the bottom and the side so they kind of support the actual entire chair. Well, um, it's been time I've been wanting a new chair for a while and thanks to one of my good buddies on YouTube, Robert Baker, he's got this awesome office chair that he uses and he gave me some inspiration on finding a new chair for myself. So, uh, looked online for a bunch of different places on Amazon and uh, found myself a chair that I like with uh, what's called flip up arms. And the arms are able to flip up so that you can actually play guitar or whatever. And that is what this box is. We're going to be going over an unboxing of this chair from Beliza, if that's how you pronounce it. And it's a racing style chair. And I'm very excited to have it, so let me go ahead and put the camera on its mount here. And you'll get to watch the cat help me open the guitar box. And uh, this is our Russian Blue Java, who's been in several videos. And it was pretty cool, I noticed that Robert himself has a Russian Blue Cat. And uh, they're awesome, aren't they? Aren't they awesome? Yes, they are. But we're going to open this box and see what the chair looks like. This actually came in the mail. Yesterday, uh, today is March the 11th, Friday, and uh, uh, I just had so many other things to do that uh, I thought, well, I'll just save it till tomorrow because I have plenty of time. So we're going to open this up and take a look at it already. <clears throat> I can see that I'm probably going to be pleased with it. Here's one of the arms. Massive, massive arm there. And you know me and my blue guitar, so... Obviously had to have a blue armrest to match. So these actually flip up. If it's sitting like this or like this, I can just flip it up and it's out of my way so I can play guitar. So that's awesome. Um, I've heard people complain about the smell. It is kind of an odd plasticky smell. So let's just see what else is in here. Okay, so we got this uh, arm here. Probably the back of this thing. Put a piece of tape on it. For the most part, looks like it's hopefully going to be easy to put together. The materials look like they're pretty well made. There's the key some bubble wrap and paper. I'm sure she'll enjoy that. So here is the back. That's what the back looks like. I'm going to go ahead and turn the uh, camera a little bit more to where I'm standing. There we go. Alright, so, it's pretty keen. Alright, so, that's the back. Alright. Looks awesome. Looks good. Go ahead and put that on the floor here. Very nice material. Just closer up here. Pretty nice material over here. I'm going to go ahead and put uh, an actual light in my direction here. Maybe you'll be able to see this a little better. Very nice, you know, meshy material. Leather type material here. Nice and cushiony. Pretty excited about that. And that is from, like I said, Beliza. The furniture company. Alright. So, let's see what else we got here. Here's the actual seat. And the manual, I'm guessing, or they haven't put it together. Warning. Blah, blah, blah. This product contains chemicals known to the state of California to cause cancer and birth defects or the reproductive harm. Wash hands thoroughly after handling. But that's nice to know. So maybe huh, after this chair has uh, been put together pretty good, I want it to wash my hands so much. Alright, so here's the seat. 
to match the back. Very nice. Very, it's going to be a nice seat to sit in. Plush here tells you which way is the front. You got your holes here. All right, so we got that. Definitely smelly. Now here's just one page. Apparently in one page you can put this thing together. All right, so comes with the instructions. This is what it's supposed to look like when it's fully assembled. Very sweet, nice looking chair there. All right, so continue on. Not much left. We've got the base over here. Got the other arm and one of the uh, things that attaches to the arm was not attached. So for some reason. So we'll just pop that right on. Hopefully. Or not. Apparently the, this part came broken. So I can't just pop it right on. Well, maybe I can. There's two of them missing, so hopefully they'll stay there. That's good. All right, so once again, that moves. Ugh. Okay, now this thing fell right off, so that's bad. I'm gonna probably have to order a replacement, one of those. For the chair, I'll keep popping off if I don't. Uh, I see the tabs here that are broken. Those were supposed to be on there, so I have to keep that. Take a picture of that for confirmation. All right. So next is the base and the uh, actual moving mechanism here. direction. There's the base. Very nice looking. And then you got your um, wheels and everything which are right here. You got your wheel, five pieces. Your wheels, another piece, another piece that's the extension on the seat, and then you got your tools, your allen wrenches and stuff that you need to do it with. So that is the racing style chair. Beliza, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and uh, another tab from somewhere. I'll go ahead and turn this off and assemble it, and uh, you'll see what it looks like when I assemble it. All right, guys, here I am, fully completed chair. How do I look at it? Isn't it awesome? Raises up pretty good, tilts back pretty good, no problems there. The arms fold back, playing guitar mode instantly. To leave this one down, prop my hand against. I would like for these to be out a little further because it feels like I'm having to rest like this. Um, not that big of a deal. Um, I can get up and down it just fine, no problems. Like I said, the thing adjusts really good. I'm down. It can lock in place where you can't tilt back. You can swivel around just fine, unlock it, and you can you know, sit back however you know what you want to. I like mine high. So I'm gonna get at it and uh, let you see what it looks like. A lot better looking than uh, my other one, obviously. Isn't that awesome? Like these uh, tilt wrists. One thing I will say is uh, they, the, the screws were pretty tough to tighten and to line up. So I'll show you right here. When you are tightening the arms up, I'm going to have to move my camera here, I guess. i maneuver it here. When you're tightening your arms up here, and yes, that piece is still off, make sure that you leave this one loose if, you're, if you have one of these chairs. Because if you tighten this all the way, this one's fine, but if you tighten this on all the way, the arms kind of like go this way. And so you have to loosen that one screw down here for this to pull back in so that you can get it centered with your chair. Everything lined up very well. Uh, some of those screws were kind of tricky to get into. Uh, they, I like these nice little chrome caps they've got that you can pop on and off here. Um, very nicely, nicely put together. Let me just sit back in it again. I can't remember, didn't really pay attention to how comfortable it felt. You know, soft but firm, not too bad. Um, 
I don't think there's anything special underneath. You've got your lever. This actually says lift to adjust, uh, push into lock, pull out to release. Just your standard deal there with your lever. And also you've got your tilt adjust, which is right underneath here. That uh, little thing right there that you can twist to adjust the tension when you lean back. All right, so let's. Uh, here's my workaround. I'm going to do this. I'm, I don't think I'll fool with uh, really messing with uh, that being a problem. I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of it for evidence that yes, it was. Uh, it was. Uh, it shipped this way. So you see this live how I do this. So I always take pictures of the evidence. There's that, and then for some reason I've got three tabs here instead of just two. So I don't know what happened with that. So let me take that picture real quick. So what I'm going to do to work around that is I have some two-sided sticky tape. And I'm just going to cut off probably a strip wide enough to come around here. So, and this is what I'm talking about. This is two-sided tape. It's that stuff you see on the back of calendars and stuff that you can stick to the wall. This stuff is pretty high powerful. So, uh, take that and put it on there. And if that fails, I'll find another workaround. I don't really want to fool with waiting for a thing to come in. So, that should be good enough. Stick that right on there in the middle. And then pull the back off here. All right, let's put this in. Since gravity, I'm going to gravity work for me, so I'm going to put these two tabs closest to the top. Uh, and uh, we'll see how that's going to work here. So I'll give that a good push there. Hold it on there real good. I already see that's not really lined up, so, and that came out really easy, so I'm not sure if that's going to work or not. Maybe that'll help. If it doesn't, I may have to get another part. I don't know, but that's what I'm going to try for right now, actually. Yeah, that's not going to, it's not going to work. So, this comes off as best as I can get it off now because it does not like to be on there. But anyway, you get the idea. So, we'll try to get that off here in a little bit and get some alcohol or something to get it off. Now let's go ahead and see what this looks like in the office while we take a look at Kitty. All right, so let's move the other chair out of the way. Very old chair. Don't know what I'll do with it. I might put it on the LSN or something to sell. This one in there, good deal, it fits just fine. Let's compare, okay? So we've got about the same width for the chair distinguishing. The arms are in about the same spot. So I would have liked them a little wider, but that's all right, at least these lift up. So I'm gonna move this over here, put it in place, and now I have, friends make a new office chair that looks a lot better than that old thing. Thanks guys so much for watching. Once again, this is a chair, a racing style chair from Beliza. Um, I'll, I'll give you a link in the bottom of the video so that you can actually go check this style out. They have it in blue. They have it in black and red and white. So instead of the main color being, um, actually I think the whole thing is black, but the middle stripes are, are instead of white, they're red or something. I don't know. But they got it red and they got it in all black. So I'll give you a link in the description area below the video. Go check it out. Order one of these bad boys for yourself. I got it at $109. It'll be well worth it to have a good chair. Now, now, now notice here one more thing. That's a lumbar support, looks like. So we've got that sticking out. So that when I sit in my chair. Oh yes, I can definitely feel it pushing against my back. So I guess guys, I'll say thanks so much for watching. And... Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get this lined up really good where you can see it and everything. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll check you guys out on the next video, whatever that may be, okay? So, once again, the chair is from Belize, and I'll get up here and give you a shot of that as we sign off here. See you guys later. Thanks so much. God bless.